When it comes to major goals, major plans, things you want to accomplish and achieve in life, consider, if you haven't already, consider putting them on paper. I mean, yes, you can put them on your phone, and I use Evernote, right, um, and a few other apps, and it's wonderful and it's great, but actually take a pen or a pencil, right, and um, when was the last time you used a pencil? and a piece of paper and start writing things down. Start writing thoughts and ideas down. There's something about that experience, about the pen, about you thinking about what you want to accomplish and, and you know, having that come through your hands and a pen and a piece of paper and you can see it. You can visualize it. You can see how it fits the larger goals that you have set for yourself. And it's remarkable how some of these things will help you reframe and realign your state of mind and you will see what you need to do next much more clearly so consider putting it on paper right you have a plan you have goals you want to um, accomplish put it on a piece of paper show it to someone you trust show it to your best friend your significant other show it to yourself write it down put it aside come back to it a couple days later and look at it again and I guarantee that you will start making changes and, and improvements. Another thing that is even more important is, is to have something that, whether it's a little notepad or planner, where you're putting down your thoughts and ideas, right? Not quite a diary-like, but think of ways to document your thought process get back to it every once in a while in a regular interval and see whether your steps that you're taking today or things that you've taken yesterday are in align and in support of your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. Because if they're not, this is one of many ways for you to quickly uh, realign yourself with what's important to you, your family, your business, and then make adjustments as needed. Also, you will see as you do this for a while, if you go back and like, oh, what are the things I thought about? And date them when you can, right? Date them. You can put the exact date or just put a month, you know, June of 2019. If you go back to what were the things that you wanted to do six months ago or a year ago or two years ago, those things are no longer your priorities today in many cases. One, you've already accomplished them. Two, you've moved on into bigger, better things or different things. That is no longer a goal of yours, and now it was replaced by something else. So when in doubt, put things on a piece of paper. It will do wonders for you. It's been working for me for years. I will take I put things in my phone all the time, but I will take specific moments in time or hours here and there spread out, not hours at once. I would love to be able to do that. But 20, 30 minutes here and then 30 minutes, you know, in a week or two or three. And write down my thoughts, my ideas, my major goals when it comes to my career, my business, my aspirations and goals and, you know, places where I would like to be in, in, in a decade. So it's been helpful to me. Hopefully it's been helpful to you. And if you know other things that you recommend, please um, comment below and let me and others know. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing it with your friends and colleagues, and uh, make sure you have a wonderful day. Today's day is a gift, it's a blessing for us all. Don't waste it on things and people that are not worthy of that effort and energy. Have a great day.